Phil Roberts, the President of the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Before I begin the official presentation, a short comment. As a former NBAA Chairman of the Board and a member of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you, Ed, the NBAA Board, and all the members here who in fact have navigated some very stormy waters, political and economic, in the recent past. Uh, I think by listening to this previous panel, they're very, very competently taking on things that we should take on. By the looks of the convention, business aviation is going to continue as a tool in the success of our businesses and a vital economic growth that our United States yeah. requires. Our special thanks uh, from the Hall of Fame go to Kathleen Bluen and her staff, uh, who I know most of you know. They make this convention uh, happen, and they make it look almost easy. So that's a sign of a real pro in my, in my uh, view. Now, on to the presentation. The National Aviation Hall of Fame Board and its membership very much appreciate the excellent partnership between the two organizations, NBAA and ourselves. And we appreciate the opportunity to be here to present the Combs Gates Award. Many of the board and support folks are here to show you and our awardee their support as well. Our chairman, Alan Holweiler, our executive director, Chris Gazelle, trustees, Jim Cooling, Roger White, and certainly not least of all, our very specially talented enshrinement director, Ron Kaplan. Would you please stand so that we can recognize you? Ron, you did not stand. Ron, stand up. Stand up, Ron. OK. In a few moments, I'm going to in introduce our enshrinees and the group who are present to honor our award winner. 2011 marks the ninth annual Combs Gates Award of MBAA. It was founded by Harry B. Combs as part of a $1.3 million gift to the Hall of Fame Learning Center in Dayton, Ohio. Harry was an accomplished author in his own right, and he was committed to helping the Hall of Fame inspire other scholars and researchers to preserve the legacies of America's aviation and space greats. So the fund was also established a juried competition. When we inaugurated this award at NBAA's opening general session 2003, we were blessed to have Harry with us. He was joined on stage by fellow and trainees Neil Armstrong, and uh, Gene was there also, if I remember correctly, Gene Cernan. Unfortunately, Harry passed away later that year, but he did get to witness the 100th anniversary of powered flight. Many of you know that the late Charles Gates was a partner with Harry in the early days of the business jets. And some of you may also know that this was a very close and complimentary relationship. So six years ago, the Charles C. and June S. Gates Foundation generously stepped in to help us continue this award. At that point, we renamed it the Combs Gates Award to recognize the support and to honor the very special relationship that these two entrepreneurs enjoyed together. I have no doubt that Harry and Charlie would concur this year's recipient went above and beyond in earning this year's honor of the $20,000 Combs Gates Award. She first got her idea for an award-winning documentary in 1997. While working on her master's in filmmaking, she interviewed the famous Mama Bird, that is, Evelyn Bryan Johnson of Tennessee, who, by the way, was enshrined in 2007. A recipient's imagination was fired by Mama Bird's mention of the 1929 Women's Air Race. When she discovered that this milestone event was seemingly lost to history, it propelled our, it propelled, sorry about that, it propelled our recipient to capture on film the inspirational story of the Derby, especially the stories of the 20 dynamic women flyers who were involved. 
13 years she spent searching out archival footage and photos, tracking down the family members of the pilots and recreating some of the flying scenes using vintage aircraft. Ultimately, she quit her job and personally borrowed money to fund the completion of this project in 2010. This is a juried competition and for the award, and our panel of judges found her documentary titled Breaking Through the Clouds, the first women's air derby worthy of the 2011 Combs Gates Award. I've seen this documentary myself, and if you love aviation, you want to see it also. We have with us four enshrinees to help present this uh, check and award. In addition, those on the stage uh, will have said that they would help. To introduce them first, we have Bob, and this is in the order of the enshrinement in the Hall of Fame. Bob Hoover, fighter pilot, test pilot, and a legendary air performer. Gene Cernan, Navy fighter pilot, astronaut, and the last man on the moon. Sean D. Tucker, world and national aer aerobatic champion and a legendary air show performer in his own right. Clay Lacey, world-renowned aerial cinematographer and business aviation icon. Also, we have distinguished members of the next panel up here who have graciously agreed to help us here on the dais. We have General Fig Newton uh, and FAA Administrator Randy Babbitt and Harrison Ford. They will be properly introduced right after this. As, the, as everybody is on stage right now, I would like you all to help me give a warm welcome to this year's Combs Gates Award recipient, producer and director, Ms. Heather Taylor. Thank you, Phil, for that introduction. I am truly honored to be here. I never imagined that following the dreams of 20 pioneering women in aviation's history would lead me to meeting the quintessential aviation legends of today. Thank you to the NBAA, the National Aviation Hall of Fame, and those on the committee who chose my film for this award. As I work to bring the story to fruition, I insisted on accuracy and made it a goal to not only recognize the accomplishments of the 20 women in the, in the Derby, but to restore their names to history. Therefore, it is the ultimate honor to have Breaking Through the Clouds acknowledged by the National Aviation Hall of Fame, an organization that encourages and promotes the preservation of aviation heritage. I wholeheartedly thank both the Combs and Gates families their generosity and financially rewarding historians and artists for capturing moments in aviation history is a rare and much appreciated gift. My hope is to use this money to further spread the story of the women's achievements by introducing the film into schools, museums, and other avenues where the next generation can learn of the courage and bravery of Louise Thaden, Phoebe Omley, Ruth Nichols, Bobby Trout, Poncho Barnes, and the 15 other women who had the passion and fortitude to fly in this grueling race across the country in 1929. When I first learned of the Derby, I was so astounded to discover there were so many women pilots, 
as one so often only hears of Amelia Earhart. As I researched their collective and individual stories, I was inspired by the passion, courage, and most notably, the sparkle in their eyes when they spoke of flying. So I thank these amazing women who flew not only for personal fulfillment and a sense of adventure, but also to promote the, aviation, the advancement of aviation, women, and out of a sense of patriotism. I can only hope they would be proud of how I told their stories. There are many more to thank, including the women's families who shared their personal history with me, my own family, as well as those who allowed me to interview them, the people, the people who helped me put the film together, and everyone who has supported the film since its release. Now with the recognition from the National Aviation Hall of Fame and the Combs Gates Award, these women's legacy will be preserved for generations to come and inspire more people to follow their own personal dreams to break through the clouds. Thank you. Uh, thanks again to our Chinese and the panel for assisting us in the presentation. It's very much appreciated. We invite all of you to meet Heather uh, and see clips of her film at our booth. It's right outside here as you go back in. It's number 7135. Uh, she will be there starting at 1 o'clock today. The DVDs uh, of her film are available here. And uh, we have a special uh, convention membership uh, show special that I think you'll be want to see, uh, especially when she signs that uh, DVD for you. We also invite you to come by at 3 p.m. today to meet Entrani Clay Lacey, who will be at the booth. And tomorrow, Entrani Jean Cernan will be at the booth from about 11 o'clock until noon. So the booth is just outside here. Congratulations again, Ms. Taylor, on a well-deserved honor. Thank you all out there for your attention and support, and thank you to Ed and the MBAA for inviting us to make this award presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.